So as you guys can see, I got all these oil cans nicely laid out. And what I thought was a sign, it's not a sign. And thanks to many of you that left me fantastic comments on the video, now I know and I haven't realized the reason that this is like two Pegasus here and two mobile oil, you know, prints on this, that this is unrolled steel sheet that actually makes the can like so. I did not know that. This is the first time ever I had something like this in my shop. So thanks for educating me guys. I really appreciate it. So I still don't know if I priced it correctly. I, uh, I got a hundred bucks on it. Hopefully that's something right there in that ballpark. Most of the cans are between 30 to $50 here, but this I put hundred bucks on it. We'll see what happens. But anyway, once again, thank you so much guys. Love it. No one artist and it's right here. Look at this. See this guy? Turn him up. Hold on, hold on. He will, uh oh. He will wind up. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. Boom! <laughs> 350 yards. There you go. One more time. <laughs> Boom! That's pretty unique. I do like that. That is pretty nifty. <laughs> this is probably from early to mid 70s. Oh, yeah? He made probably a couple hundred of these, you know? And, and he would do different sports too, different gadgets. So it's pretty cool looking. So I want to show you this thing. I picked this up this morning. What a great find this is. Now, back in the day, they made pretty much every team like this. A little TV with the radio. And then you have a helmet of your favorite team. This one is Green Bay Packers, which is perfect here for me because I sell a lot of stuff either from chicago beers or green bay packers since i'm almost right on the border tv works great although you can't get really any signal because this is analog but the radio works flawlessly the only thing i'm missing from this is the original power adapter which comes here but it runs on batteries with no problem matter of fact we can turn it on right now As soon as you stretch the antenna, see? All right, I don't want to play that music too long because I'm gonna get a copyright from it. But and then when you turn the TV on here, eventually the white screen, the snow there it goes comes on. So it's fully functional. Great, uh, great little piece. I put 185 bucks on it. Um, they hardly ever come up on a market. If you're gonna look right now on eBay, you're not gonna find any comps whatsoever. If you go on a ward point, you will find a few different teams. So they can range from like 120 to about 250, depending on a condition. So this is a really cool find. Local pickers that I deal with here quite often they brought it in so love it so i heard vicky signed up for accordion lessons no <laughs> that was you yes <laughs> so this sold once it's gonna sell again right i hope so you know yeah so for some reason when this came back Adrian shoved this in a corner of our shop in the back sure in the cheap. original box that he shipped it out yeah. Thinking maybe okay. It's packed ready in a box for next one. Never got relisted <sighs> Sat there for over a year. Yeah, you know, so is maybe this... you did it No, I remember <laughs> him talking actually about it. It's ready over there ready to ship Oh, You know, okay. I remember that conversation <laughs> never been listed Who makes this B? C this G is G B Borsini G Giovanni. Borsini Giovanni. Yeah. Still fully functional. All the keys are and nice. I just closed nice it off so there's nothing. no air in the bellows now, but it was making noise. Huh? Where's the diamond? Oh, it's empty. Diamond is gone. Yeah. Remember the one that we sold with yeah. the diamond? Yeah. Went to Japan. No, it didn't. 
New York. New York. Oh, that's right. It was. Why am I thinking it was I don't Japan? Know. We do this all the time. I know it went to New York. New York, two grand we got for that, or twenty five hundred or something like that. It was way up there. Don't remember now. We got a lot. Now this. It smells ah, very nice. Musty. Nice basement oh. from nineteen forty two. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we should air it out. Oh well, we could have for the last year. No, if we no, know. we'll charge more for the smell. Mm. Mm -hmm. Extra fifty. What if that's why I came? Extra out? fifty for the smell. Don't you guys agree with me? No. Yeah. It's very musty. Very musty. This does not smell at all. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Do we need to ship in this case? Yeah, we do. I mean, it wouldn't be. Even... They want the original case, and look, so. and look at the handle. Yeah, it's all original to it. I forgot. I need a picture inside too. So, if you want to open it, you can put it back in. See how, you know. But it doesn't have it that. What well, you like normal cover. the cover? It usually has the cover that you yeah. flip it over. You know. We haven't listed one of these in quite a while. Yeah, we have two available, I think, online, don't we? I didn't find any online. It should be, because uh, my friend is gonna be really mad on for on me. Really? She gave one to me to oh. list it for her. We listed like a year ago. Well, did it sell? Uh, did it? Because she asked me like a month ago. I'm like, no, it's still there. I really don't. I didn't find any. Renee, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I think we sold your accordion. I got to look it up. <laughs> she watches the channel. Hi, Renee. <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of these. Yeah, get, get rid of the paper. But look, look what I found. Oh. Here's the stone. Let's see. That stone is it real? Should be glued right here oh in that spot. So I'm just gonna take a picture of it and put and it in the baggie. Glue, yeah, let's baggie? No, let's get some Why? crazy glue and I bet we did that the first time. No, we probably never we missed it. Or maybe it fell off during shipping. Yeah, that's what I mean. Shouldn't we just put it somewhere? What is this stuff? I do not know. Oh my gosh. Is this edges from somewhere? No, this is not. This is metal. I don't know. All right, more Throw investigation is Throw needed. All right, um, you want it back in there or are you still taking pictures? Well, I'm done. I'm going to take a picture of it in the box, but I'm going to clean that dust out first. Okay, cool. Awesome. Shouldn't I just get a picture like this? No. Well, do you want to glue it? No, I We can put it in a baggie pictures. and we can tape it to the side of it so okay. it stays with it, you know, in case if it falls off again. Yeah. So somebody can deal with it. Okay. What do you think we're going to be asking on it? I didn't research yet, and I don't know what we have in it. I don't remember anymore. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We have no idea now what it's we got. It's been a long time. We used to list them regularly. Yeah. But it's been a while. So, probably a couple hundred bucks at least. Yeah. Maybe okay. more. I don't know, maybe less. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the risk you take when you're dealing with collectors that like their stuff pristine. First, one of the first cars just came back. The guy didn't like. The way it look it he said to me that the way the paint is done on a car it has like a blemishes or something uh, and of course because being shipped back and forth now the plastic is cracked now on this side it did go out in this protective case but still the plastic got cracked so, and this was one of those, uh, I think this one sold for like 417, I want to say. Well, sold once, it's going to sell again, but now I have to show that this little crack, it's like a hairline crack on this. I don't know if the camera can even pick it up. It's right here. Oh well, sold once, gonna sell again, like I said. So I guess today is one of those days. First, we have the return of that uh, Hot Wheels car. That one is not a, such a bad, bad deal because I can relist it and flip it. This is another return that came back today. This is an Epson printer that was a brand new printer. And for some reason, it, it won't power on. I mean, the light comes on, power on, but the screen the screen won't power on and the unit does absolutely nothing. It hurts because this was $350. I took a $300 offer on it and uh, it cost 30 bucks to ship and now it came back and now it's basically trash. I can't get anything going on it. The only thing I can retrieve out, out of this is, is the brand new cartridges. 
They were still obviously sealed like they, they come with the printer when you buy a brand new printer. So I'm going to try to resell these at least for $15-$20 because that's, <coughs> that's all they bring. And also a cable for printer because those cables are, you know, to connect to your computer, those are expensive. And then I have a compressor that just came back to the shop that guy bought on Saturday and just brought it back because it's overheating. It's a big tank on wheels. And uh, when it gets to like 60-70% full or 60-70% or PSI, uh, it just shuts itself off because the motor on it overheats. Who knows what's going on with that? And that's almost $300. That was like two, 265 I think we sold it to a guy. So between this, the car, and the freaking compressor, that's $1,000 of returns today. I'm having a wonderful day. Gotta love it. I guess it's part of the business. I'm not getting upset. I just want to share the good and the bad in this business because always everybody shows just the good stuff, you know? Nobody ever shows the stuff that happens to you and and that's how it is, you know? What are you gonna do? But but look, look who's very upset today and worried about everything that is happening. That girl right there. <coughs> Yeah, and that one too. That one screaming. She she worries about her ball. Very hard working crew over here. Yes, Ruby. Yes, Ruby. How can I help you? Why why are we so loud? Come on. Come on. You gonna say hi to everybody? You gonna say hello to everybody? Say hello. Say hello. Right here, they're watching you. <laughs> right here, right here, here's the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. So this is a very interesting piece of equipment. Back in the day, when these came out, you had to buy these special tapes and they were first digital decks. I just finished testing a Sony one which has some issues, so we're gonna sell it for parts. But this one, just finished testing, works great. Takes these little tapes. They were big in mid to late 80s into early 90s, and then CD came out and completely destroyed this format. This one is made by Panasonic, which is a Matsushita Corporation, same as Technics and Quests are. High-end equipment. The plugs on the back, you could tell, were designed to uh, plug in high-end equipment. Does have couple scuffs right here, right here, right here. If you run into this, pay attention because this can demand some big money. This one, if it's in working order, it's going to bring anywhere between 250 to 300. The Sony that I just tested, it was probably in a three to four hundred dollar range. But unfortunately, I can't get any sound out of it. It shows that the tape is playing, but I'm not getting any sound out of it. So, but anyway, just wanted to share this unusual format that came out in mid to late 80s and um, was very professional, very professional.
kind of end of the season. I do have one electric and I have one gas. I think I'm gonna take all of that. Alright. But the rest of the stuff, yeah, I can.